You've got to learn to crawl before you can walk. He's only five months old, but my son's already getting around and crawling all over the place. So in this project, I'm building him a walker that he can use to push and kind of keep his balance as he's moving around. I drew up some plans and printed out a template to help guide my jigsaw cuts. Uh, and they went on really easily with just some spray adhesive, kind of turns them into stickers on the wood. The two side rails and the seat portion has a little bit of curve to it, but for the most part this is really straight, easy project. Uh, the whole thing comes out of a single 1x12, I think by 6 foot, from the home center. Here I'm cutting out the pieces that will make a little cargo holder that uh, he can push his toys around in. And then the last thing to cut out is just the, uh, the two rails that will hold the handle. I picked up a new sander to help shape some of these curves. I figured with a new baby around, sanding is a pretty critical part. I clamped the two side pieces together before sanding the sides and uh, drilling holes so that they both match up and be perfectly symmetrical on both sides. And again, I just followed my template for all the holes in this project. I used my router to round over all the uh, exterior sides of, of the walker. Edges can never be too rounded when babies are involved. Everything becomes a teether. I checked my progress to make sure everything was fitting together nicely. And then uh, over to sanding. And I sanded and sanded and sanded. I took all the flat sides down to 220 and then I took the sandpaper off and hand sanded all the edges. The wheels just bolt on to the sides of the wagon, but instead of having nuts and threads sticking out, I'll use a Forstner bit to inset the cap nut. And once all the pieces are cut, drilled, and sanded, I'll do some pre-finishing. I'm using a homemade baby safe wipe on beeswax and mineral oil finish. And then for some contrast to the wood, I'm using some non toxic acrylic paint. For the final assembly, I'll use wood glue and I'll reinforce the seat with a couple of screws. I forgot to mask off some of the glue surface areas when I was finishing, so I did have to go back and resand so the glue would adhere. After everything was dry, it was time for the final assembly. The push rail just bolts on. I figure that could be taken off later when he's no longer needing it. And then I used some of these half inch plugs to dress up where I screwed into the seat. Bolt wheel washer, wood washer cap. Here's my little assembly line for the wheels of the wagon. When I put the wheels on, I used a little bit of Loctite at the end of the threads, and that way I could tighten them down to be loose enough that the wheels would spin, but also not so loose that he wouldn't be able to control it. So there you have it, a wooden walker with a push stick, a seat for a friend, and a cargo area for supplies. The first wooden toy I ever built for my son. Hey, thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe for more woodworking and DIY projects. I try to put out one or two videos a month, and I just added a new playlist for toys. I figured now that he's got this sweet hauler, he needs something to put in it. Leave a comment below if you have any toy suggestions that you'd like to see me build.